Hi there, it's Sam from Poodlestock.co.uk. Thank you very much for joining me today. Today's project is a box to hold 3x3 three three cards and envelopes and it is a flat pack box. So it opens at the top and it opens at the bottom. Oh, I didn't put a little catch in there, but it will do. Um, so you can build it all up in advance and store it. So I have used the Lullaby Designer Series paper on here. So you could make perhaps some... Um, baby notification cards or you could gift this to somebody who's just had a baby you know make them thank you cards hence I put thank you so much on the front but it's lovely and this is the um, crisp cantaloupe card stock because that's the predominant colour in the background I'm going to do a different version of it and you need a piece of card that measures I can't remember how much it measures nine and a half by seven and a half inches which is in centimetres 25 and a half by 21 centimetres so with the long side at the top you score it at three and a half four and a half eight and nine inches which in metric is nine twelve twenty one and twenty four then you turn it round and score it at one two five and a half and six and a half which is three six fifteen and eighteen and I do like these fold flat boxes I've made a few of them recently and they are great for storage purposes so the finished dimensions of the box when it's completed is three and a half inches by three and a half inches by one inch which is nine by nine by three centimeters and that is how you get to hold your cards which are three by three or seven and a half by seven and a half and their envelopes which are bigger and you're not cramming them in okay right so there's bits to remove okay so you've got your little cluster over here we need to remove uh, one two three four five that's the bits we need to remove and this one here but we'll do these ones first Oh, sorry, we, yes, we do need it. So basically all along the top row, get rid of all of those. All the way along the top. If you're, You could use your trimmer. If you're not going to, use long scissors to remove. So all of those, same on the opposite side. Not doing very well today. Okay, remove those. Cut into these parts here. So you've kept you've kept all of that. Cut in here and notch because these are the flaps that are going to fit inside your box when it closes. Okay. Come over here and do the same. So notch into that one and remove that part and notch in there, we're going to remove that as a hole in a minute get rid of this one okay, almost done notch into that part notch into that part and what you're left with at this point are those bits so we need to remove this section and it is like other fold flat boxes I've done And you're left with a funny kind of T-shape when you're done. So that's the kind of shape you're left with. So it's all going to fold round and fold close like that. So I'm just going to round the corners of this. I've lost my corner rounder. There it is. Round these corners. And part, start sticking all your bits on. So I've gone back to the lullaby paper again. I've taken this one which has got the pistachio pudding as the, the dominant pattern in the background, the dominant colour in the background, and it's just beautiful. And these are three and a quarter by three and a quarter inches, or eight and a half by eight and a half centimetres. And one on one part. One on the other side. 
cut your little notch part at the top and I've got my oval punch, the small oval, and I love this punch. It's so versatile, not just for small wording, but for things like this. So I sponged all of this. I haven't done it on this project that I'm putting together now for you. Um, but yeah, you could sponge all of it down just to soften it. You need a strong adhesive to close this up because it is cardstock. So I'm using Fuse, but you could use um, Sticky Strip. Definitely don't use Snail. You could use Tombow as well. Fold that over and the box will now close together. So that's the bottom going in. And then the top, that will close in. And then I've got the baker's, this is the thick baker's twine. Um, and obviously it's in the matching colour. So I'm going to go round three times. And that's far too short. <laughs> oh, and I've just dropped it. Oh, I thought I dropped it on the floor then. Let's try and get that a bit longer. So, one, two, three times. So often then I can tie a bow. Attempt to tie a bow. Oh, that's not bad. Oh, it's upside down. <laughs> it just twisted itself completely upside down. Oh my goodness. Oh, I can't get my fingers around it. <laughs> You're all shouting at your computers right now, aren't you? There we go. It's kind of there. Trim it off. I'll prettify it for the pictures. I'll stick it down with some glue dots if necessary. Okay, and then final little bit of stamping. Um, this was the thank you so much that I took from my very favourite lots of thanks stamp set. But it might not be a set of thank you cards. It might just be a set of, of you know, thinking of you cards or something like that. So I've got hi from regarding dahlias or regarding dahlias, however you pronounce it. And my pistachio pudding ink onto a piece of whisper white cut that out with the one inch square punch and then if I'm very I've got some scrap cardstock here and I've got the postage label punch quickly sponge up all of those edges lift it up on some dimensionals I've just got a screen here and I put sequins from the in colour sequins onto this one I could put it on the high shall I put it on the high no that was probably another battle perhaps left for another day but that's my cute little project I think that's adorable um, and like I say, you could gift that to a new mum, um, you know, full of thank you cards or maybe baby announcement cards, or you could just completely change up the colours and the patterns and the papers. Anyway, thank you so much for joining me and I hope to speak to you soon. Bye.